Returning now to our top story, Maine has become the second US state to block Donald Trump from the primary ballot. Joining me live is research editor at the United States Studies Centre, Victoria Cooper. Victoria, thanks for joining us. How will this play out in your view? Will it go to the Supreme Court now? Yeah, hi, thanks for having me. And yeah, it's another historic decision by Maine Secretary of State to uh, remove Donald Trump from any primary election ballots. So this is kind of the first step. Maine has a different system to Colorado where the decision was also made by its Supreme Court to bar Trump from the ballot. So Maine requires the Secretary of State to make a decision first before it can go to the court. So the next step will be for it to go to the Maine Supreme Court. But ultimately, this puts pressure on the highest court in the United States, the Supreme Court of the United States, to make a decision that will cover all the states and how they govern their ballot processes. You mentioned the Secretary of State in Maine. She's a Democrat. So how does this stack up? Is there a political motive behind this? Yeah, I think that's a really important question. So Maine is one of about 30 states that have brought this ballot question forward. And every state at the moment is kind of questioning uh, and has appeals in their court processes about whether Donald Trump is uh, a eligible to run under the 14th Amendment. Uh, and this Secretary of State, yes, she is a Democrat, and the uh, legislature in Maine is governed by Democrats. And that's something that the Trump case is now saying, is that this is a Democrat conspiracy to remove him from the ballot, that all of this amounts to electoral interference and the Democrats weaponizing the system of government. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a really interesting point, is whether or not uh, this is going to become highly political, but ultimately the Supreme Court will step in and that will be a independent process. What impact could this have now on Donald Trump's political future? Yeah, so for Donald Trump, this often uh, is quite beneficial. We saw in the indictment processes that it actually helped him fundraise. And also in the Colorado decision, uh, his supporters turned out in droves to come behind him to provide more money. Uh, often this plays well into his narrative that the Democrats are weaponizing government to prevent him from a second term. So it really plays well into the kind of conspiratorial language. Um, but it also plays well for the Democrats in terms of their message that Donald Trump is a threat to democracy, constantly reminding the American people people uh, of Trump's affiliation with January 6th and, of course, the cases that will uh, come before court this year uh, to resolve Trump's uh, involvement in those cases, that really plays well for the Democrats reminding voters of the potential threat that Donald Trump might pose to uh, democracy on that side. So we kind of see how this particular issue kind of weighs into those partisan uh, perspectives there. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating uh, to watch. And, of course, as you said, Donald Trump has such a huge base. He's well ahead of the other Republican candidates. But could this also have an impact on the other Republican candidates? Could they benefit from this? Yeah, absolutely. So Trump is far and away the front runner in the Republican primary process at this point. He has about a 61% lead in national polls, which is the furthest a primary candidate has been ahead of their rivals at this stage in the primary process. So according to 538, he has about a 9 in 10 chance of winning the primary nomination at this stage. The next closest candidates are Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley, who share about 12% each of the remaining vote. Uh, but with Trump having such a substantial lead, it seems like not much is going to prevent him from the nomination. And at this stage, these decisions aren't final. They still are up for appeal. So at this stage, Donald Trump remains on those ballots. And it's also important to remember that this is just the primary process. It's not actually the general election, which will be decided in November. So what we do know is Donald Trump faces a number of hurdles ahead of both the primary and the general season. But at this stage, it's too soon to tell what effect this will have in the long run up until November. Yeah, it's interesting to watch it play out. Victoria Cooper, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you very much.